it's trying to change their perspective from this being just a piece of tooling that marketing uses and change it into this being the embodiment of the customer. You know, the way to get to the customer quickly is through the data. Joining us today to share his perspectives is John Go, Head of Marketing Technology and Orchestration at Medibank. Welcome, John. Thank you. So tell us a little bit about the digital transformation that's been happening in Medibank. So at Medibank, you know, it's all about the customer. We live and breathe the delivery of the customer experience. And not only do we deliver, you know, multifaceted, multi-touch journeys, we also uh, look after the infrastructure that fuels the journey. So, you know, really maintaining that privacy and governance so we can safely, uh, you know, orchestrate that customer experience at scale. You've really advanced where you were, I think, you know, I'd say even a few years ago, right? Absolutely. With this technology. Absolutely. Tell us a little bit, like, how was this case built? Uh, you know, were you spearheading that? Was there yeah. a committee? Tell us so that for folks that are trying to embark it's, on a similar journey. It's something I talk about all the time because it's a, you know, again, like my accidental journey to become a MarTech person, it was kind of a happy incident. I came into Medibank. I was given a contract saying, hey, we bought Salesforce. What is Salesforce? <laughs> How do we get this working? And so from there, yeah. So, you know, and the, and the business really trusted me to take the, you know, take this flag and run with it. And we really built the use case iteratively. And mm. I think one of the most important things is start slowly. You yes. know, you can just go too hard, too fast and everyone burns out. So what we did was we took a deep breath, started with, four use cases and that was it the four most constant pieces of contact we needed to go to our customers with and they're basically rinse and repeat and you know like a good athlete you get good at that and then you start stretching you know what's the next horizon what's the next horizon and we really just grew from there but we had the view of really kind of nurturing and building our own trailblazers you know we knew we couldn't do this ourselves, but we knew we had to rely on ourselves ultimately to succeed. That's where we grew from. You know, that some of the original um, team members we started with eight years ago are still with us. That's incredible. And look, I, I want to say you're a trailblazer here because, you know, coming in and probably saying, Googling, you know, what is sales for? <laughs> Hopefully some of our marketing helped with that. Absolutely. Um, but that's incredible. I think it's very sage advice, like the four use cases, locking those down. And were those the acquisition or the retention? Were they sort of those some similar use yep, cases we absolutely. talked about before? Two acquisition, two retention. Incredible. It. And it was a simple mantra. And those trailblazers you talk about on your team, so I'm assuming they were using trailheads, skilling up. Tell us, like, who, who yep. are these people? So, yeah, absolutely. You know, they were just people in the marketing team that, you know, I think primarily we selected them because they knew the customer, mm. they knew how the business worked, and they knew how marketing worked. Yes. So, you know, they weren't trailblazers out of the box. In fact, you know, most of them actually didn't know what Salesforce was. But when they saw what Salesforce had to offer, they jumped at it. So, you know, then we got this groundswell of people looking at Trailhead, getting badges. You know, I had a team member who came to me and went, I want to be in your team. And I said, well, you're not ready yet. She came back to me a year later and said, well, I've got 60 badges. Incredible. In. <laughs> and look, it's it's exactly how we hope it happens. And it's just music to my ears yep. when it happens that way. But what a journey for an individual, like life-changing for someone like that as absolutely, well. Right? Absolutely. Someone who might not have had a traditional background, uh, potentially now leading technology yes. with really sophisticated use cases at a leading brand like Medibank. Yeah. And you know, I think the career trajectories for a lot of the people in my team have changed. You know, 360, they've gone one in one way, they've come out the other way and they've come back again. So these are new career horizons for, you know, this next generation of marketers who aren't, you know, siloed, who aren't pigeonholed into do more brochures. You know, that's, that's just not marketing anymore. Oh, I love it. For another time, we can have a whole <laughs> conversation on talent and careers. Um, what's next? You know, where are you taking this uh, next in Medibank? So I think what's next is, you know, still about the customer. So more relevant, more often, you know, maybe crucially less often, because what we want mm. to do is understand where our customers, where, you know, where they, where we want them to be, where they want us to be. So it's really kind of understanding, you know, that deep relationship with them and trying to figure out where they want us to place, so really expanding, as I said, those health horizons. Mm. So going deeper into the health relationships uh, and really partnering with them along their journey of life, because, you know, insurance especially health insurance is not a static construct one day everyone's a you know fit healthy 25 year old and the next day you're a 45 year old with a family yes very different so we'd like to be there with them on the journey um, and certainly you know this thing we're building it's a living breathing thing
No, I love this. And, and what about your executive team? Uh, are they sort of now asking you for advice of what to do next? Or are you telling them, uh, you know, in terms of, hey, I'd love to do that vision, but this yep. is the next thing. What, what's sort of the, the way that you're working with them? So we are pushing the boundaries with okay. them. You know, I think initially they were, you know, looking at it as a platform to extract the maximum ROI, of, you know, really kind of hands off. However, I think the conversation has changed because they've seen how close we are to the customer experience. So I'm really pushing mm. the, you know, the executive boundaries on this and making them vocal advocates. It's trying to change their perspective from this being just a piece of tooling that marketing uses and change it into this being the embodiment of the customer. You know, the way to get to the customer quickly is through the data. It's interesting. And something very close to my heart is I do think, uh, especially in marketing, you've got the perfect blend with technology we are seeing a potential of being the department that is leading the company because you're close to the customer and you're seeing the journey there as yep. well. Where do you see some of the new technology? Are your customers wanting to interact more digitally using AI? Do you, and, and again, not, not going to hold you any of this, but like where are you seeing you know, the preferences yep. of the, your customer base and how you're going to meet the need there? Well, as our customer base grows, matures and changes, you know, the ways in which they want to interact with us is very different. You know, at the core of it, Medibank still has a physical retail location mm. because we believe that a human connection is still the best. However, what we're trying to do is give people different avenues. So that's why the app and the digital first experience is becoming more and more important, especially, you know, now, you know, when the 20 year olds of today become 45 year olds, their patterns are going to change. So what we want to do is build a flexible base of technology and internal capability to be able to suit those needs and, you know, evolving ways of engaging with their health very different in 10 years yeah and it's cha it's changing right before our eyes absolutely um and we shared we've got young families so we can see it happening yes. every day so we've got a lot of uh, you know executives listening in what would be your like sort of single piece of advice of how they can going get going if they haven't started this journey trust your teams mm. there is so much expertise and wisdom internally in any organization they are the people who are going to propel the organization forward so trust these people because they, you know, they see, they understand your customer and they, they have the potential to take this forward. That's very sage advice. Thank you again for being a trailblazer, leading the way. I'm inspired by where you're going and I, I know you're going to achieve even amazing things in the, in the future. So thanks again, John, for the time. Thank you very much.